Hey everyone, my name is Albin Babachi, and I will be attending UML in the fall next year. Um, first, I'd like to thank my parents. They gave me everything I needed to succeed throughout high school. And I'd also like to thank my grandmother and my two siblings, Donnie and Leah. I probably wouldn't be the person I am today without them, so thank you. Um, the teacher I chose to honor is Mr. Chu. Mr. Chu was a big inspiration um, to me throughout high school. Um, and he got me really excited to learn Spanish, and I eventually went um, to take AP Spanish my senior year. And I'm really looking forward to uh, learning more languages as I get older. Um, so thank you, Mr. Chu. Um, and thank you, everyone, and go class of 2020. Hi, my name is Maddie Burthett, and I'm going to attend UMass Amherst for biology and animal management. I would like to thank my mom for being my shoulder to cry on, my dad for always supporting me, and my brother for being my inspiration to go on. The person I am here to honor is Miss Lauren Russell. She has always been a ray of sunshine and shown me the power of positivity and how to push through when times are tough. She has also fostered my abilities and my passion for biology and anatomy throughout the years. Thank you, Ms. Lauren Russell. Hi, my name is Megan Caton, and next year I'll be attending Worcester Polytechnic Institute where I will be majoring in biochemistry. I would first like to thank my friends and family for getting me here, especially my mom and dad. I couldn't have done it without you guys. The person I would like to honor tonight is none other than Miss Amy Manchester. I've had the pleasure of being her student for the past three years and I'm beyond grateful for the time I've been able to work with her. Not only has Miss Manchester been fundamental in inspiring my career and professional goals, but every day she serves as a reminder of who I wish to become in terms of my character. Her integrity, compassion, and courage truly goes without speaking. So thank you Miss Manchester for the deep rooted impact you've had on my life and the lives of others. Hi, I'm Joanna Chase, and next year I'm going to be studying Biomedical Engineering at UMass Lowell. And so first off, I'd like to thank my parents and my family for being there every single step of the way and encouraging and supporting me through it all. I wouldn't be where I am today without you guys, so thank you for that. Um, and next, I'd like to thank the person that I'm honoring today. They've been a mentor and a coach for me for the past two years, both on and off the court. Uh, they've affected every single person who sat onto the floor with them, especially me and they've helped me to become the person I am. They've shown me what true strength and perseverance looks like every single day, and they've taught me to be a leader, to be strong, to be more confident, and to never give up. They've been there for every single minute that I needed them, and more, and I can never thank them enough for that. Thank you for making me feel like I could do it, because I don't know if I'd be in the place that I am right now without it. So thank you for showing me what perseverance looks like, for always believing in me. From that first second I stepped onto the court to my last, and through the highest of highs and lowest of lows, you've always been there. And I'll never forget that. So even though I can't express everything through these two words, um, this is as close as it'll get. So thank you to Coach B or Jeff Billingham from Hawthorne Brook. Hi, my name is Amber Clementson, and I am planning to attend North Shore Community College to study liberal arts. I would like to thank my parents and my siblings for supporting me through everything and encouraging me to work really hard. Um, and the person that I would like to honor today is Dr. Joy. She, had, she is an inspiration for individualistic thought and meaningful analysis, not just in literature, but also in life. I feel really grateful to have been her student this past year. So thank you, Dr. Joy. Hello, my name is Caroline Knoyer, and I will be attending Endicott College to study nursing. First, I would like to thank my parents. I know I don't say this nearly enough, but thank you for being my biggest supporters and my greatest role models. I love you both so much, and I truly appreciate all that you have done for me. I would also like to thank all of my friends for the endless memories that we've made together. I truly would not be the person that I am today without all of them. They have made these past few years some of the best of my life. The person that I would like to honor today is Mrs. Mandy Connor. She was the very first person I met when I entered high school and she's been by my side ever since. She's been one of my biggest supporters. She's on my shoulder to cry on and she has been one of my biggest inspirations. Mrs. Connor is always there when I need her most 
and she always knows exactly what to say. She makes my day so much better, and I am so grateful to have known her in the classroom as an amazing teacher, as a NOLA advisor, and as someone that I can trust and know on a personal level. Mrs. Connor, thank you for pushing me to be the best version of myself and for always believing in me. You've truly changed my life. Hello, my name is Roma DiLorenzo and I will be attending Bentley University to study finance. I would like to thank my family, friends, and teachers for all the support and encouragement that they have given me over the last 13 years of my education. The person who I would like to honor today has been both a mentor and an inspiration as she has guided me through my time at NM and inspired me to become the person I am today. So thank you, Ms. Alexandra Piatelli. Hello, my name is Anna Dunsmore, and I will be attending Villanova University in the fall to study mathematics. I would like to thank Caroline Knoyer for being my study partner since eighth grade, and I'd also like to honor Jeffrey Waldron because he said I was the most approved person in his gym class in a one-year period. Hello, my name is Christopher Ellers, and I will be attending Boston University in the fall of 2020, hopefully, <laughs> where I'll be double majoring between voice performance in the College of Fine Arts School of Music and Japanese in the World Languages and Literatures Department of the College of Arts and Sciences. I am greatly honored to be recognized as one of the top 25 in my class with all of my incredible peers. To be uh, placed in such a prestigious honor is not a feat that can be achieved by oneself. Therefore, there are countless members of my life that I can thank profusely, but since I have just a little time to do this, I will thank the big ones. Mainly, I would like to thank my parents for being incredibly supportive and inspiring individuals. They have taught me uh, more than just, you know, striving to work hard, but also to be compassionate, humble, and cheerful throughout life, no matter what is thrown in our path. And my cheery disposition is definitely due to them. Uh, I would also like to thank my sisters for not only giving me some healthy competition to try and outachieve them in school, but also because they have incredibly big hearts and have taught me how to love and to be loved and also just how to, you know, enjoy life and not take everything so seriously and enjoy all the beauty that is around us. Throughout my career in the North Middlesex Regional School District, I have been in contact with so many wonderful teachers who have helped shape who I am as an individual and who have helped me achieve my academic goals to this day, uh, either directly or indirectly. However, there is one amazing teacher that stands out above the rest. Uh, this teacher is from my earlier childhood, but has been with me almost every single step of my academic and especially musical career. Uh, I can't quite remember exactly when I met her, but I definitely remember I met her through her son when I would play with him in my mother's classroom at Varnum Brook. Um, I remember hanging out there uh, like every day and he would come over and we would just play and it would be great. And then through that, I ended up building up a rapport with his mother, this teacher, and eventually I got to like her so much that, you know, I got really comfortable around her and I liked talking to her and then I remember she would even drive me from the middle school when my mother would have to take me in the early morning because she couldn't drop me off herself and she would actually drive to the middle school because she had to drop off her own children anyways and then pick me up and drive me over to Varnum Brook and so I remember all of our lovely car chats and it was just a lot of fun and I have very fond memories of that car in general <laughs> um, but yeah so then eventually, um, I had the absolute pleasure of having her as my third grade teacher. Um, and she, she is amazing because she's tru she truly is a second mother to me. And she, more than any other teacher, like before I was really comfortable with her, before any other, or more than any other teacher, she was just really um, engaged and invested in me not just as you know an engaged student, but also as just an individual and like a human child who is now a budding <laughs> human adult. 
And every step of the way, she has been so incredibly supportive and has been um, wanting so desperately for me to just follow my own dreams, no matter how kind of weird they are. And she has always um, loved talking to me about all of my strange interests, which is... <laughs> Which is something, because not a lot of people like talking to me about, you know, my weird interests. But, you know, uh, she did, and that meant a lot to me. Um, the times that I would spend with her, both uh, directly in the classroom, and also indirectly when I would go over to her house and play with her son and daughter, um, will always be very cherished moments of my childhood. And also just all of the time that I would spend with her at various competitions in high school because he, her son and I were both in the same like musical ensembles and also just all of the other memories, especially having the esteemed honor of playing violin at her daughter's wedding recently. Um, just all of these memories will be very, very cherished in my life. So with that, and with great pride, I honor my third grade teacher and dear friend, Miss Michelle Staple of Varnabrook Elementary School. Thank you. Hello, my name is Andrew Gaskins and I plan on attending UMass Amherst to study biochemistry and molecular biology. Firstly, I wanna thank my parents for supporting me throughout my high school experience. I can never be where I am today without them and I'm very thankful. The person I want to honor today has been with me since before my freshman year up to the end of my senior year. He has shown me what it means to be a mature, respectable adult as well as a leader in my school community. Through his dedication as a soccer coach, a NOAA advisor, and a physics teacher, I have learned so many valuable life lessons and I have so many amazing memories. So thank you, Mr. Andrew Stern. Hello, my name is Melissa Denoder, and I will be attending the University of Maine Orno for environmental science. I would first like to thank my parents, my coaches, and my Grammy for always supporting me, and for my sister Kira for always having my back. I would like to thank Ms. Piper today. You were the very first person I met at NM and the first friendly face I saw every morning for the next three years after that. You helped me to adjust life at NM and find my place there especially by introducing me to null service learning and giving tree, which not only were a huge part of my high school experience, but shaped my values as a person as well. When I became a coordinator of NOLA, you helped me to grow as a leader. And in your class, you helped me to chase my passion environmental, which is now when I'm studying in college. But most importantly, you were always there for me, just willing to listen or cheer me up or offer advice when I needed it most. And I just can't thank you enough for that. Hi everyone, I'm Cassidy Hardy and I'm super excited to say that I will be attending Endicott College this fall and there I will be majoring in business management. Uh, first and foremost, I would of course like to thank my family for their overwhelming support um, that they've provided me with and just my parents for being so genuine and always supporting me in the decisions I make for myself. Um, I'm truly grateful for that. And next, uh, the individual I would like to honor today is a person who has been both a mentor and a role model to me uh, during my four years at North Middlesex. Uh, he truly is just the most kind-hearted, selfless person I know, and he's always pushing me to reach my greatest potential and to see that that best version of myself that I want to see. Um, and, you know, he just, he will always be an inspiration. And in the next chapter of my life, I'm really excited to take with me everything that he's taught me and, you know, make use of that at Endicott and just in life in general. So from the bottom of my heart, I can't thank you enough for all you've done for me, uh, Mr. Jarvis. Hi, my name is Lindsay Johnson. I plan to attend Wentworth Institute of Technology in Boston to study computer science. Uh, I'd first like to thank my parents my and my sister uh, who supported me through my entire high school career and especially my dad who has had a big influence on me and figuring out what I wanted to do with my future. So the person I would like to honor today, uh, I've been with for the last three years of high school. Uh, I saw them nearly every day at school, and they definitely had one of the biggest impacts on me. So your class has been one of the few that I was always happy and ready to go to, and I thoroughly enjoyed every second of it. So 
I'm definitely gonna miss my seat on the end of the row and I just hope that whoever sits there next is gonna love your class as much as I did. So Dale, thank you. Hi, my name is Aiden Morehouse and I'm going to attend UMass Amherst and double major in math and physics. Um, I'd like to start off by thanking my parents who have given me everything in life and I couldn't be even close to where I am without them. So thank you guys for everything that you've done for me uh, from the bottom of my heart. Um, for my honorary, uh, there are so many candidates, how do I pick just one to honor today? But I have to, so um, despite some wonderful STEM teachers like my AP Chem teacher and also my AP Calculus teacher, uh, the person I would like to honor today is actually a music teacher. Uh, Mr. Bielik was the first teacher I ever met at NM, um, and he's left me with experiences and inspiration and passion, the likes of which I, I'll never forget during my time. I joined the marching band for the fall season of 2015 as an eighth grader and immediately became passionate about it. Marching band quickly became my favorite activity, largely thanks to Mr. Bielik, who was a way of inspiring everyone, not just me, uh, to put their heart and soul into the music that we were making. Uh, Mr. Bielik instilled high uh, standards in us as well, and he sort of embodied this idea that, yeah, perfection is impossible, but it's through the pursuit of perfection that we can achieve excellence. Um, and this is a value he instilled in me and the band and everyone he met. Um, he also gave me unique art opportunities in leadership. <clears throat> and he did this by making me the drum major of the marching band for the 2018 fall season. Um, for those of you who are not intimately familiar with the politics of marching band, the drum major and assistant drum majors play an important leadership role. They give advice to newer members, and they work with the band director to keep the band inspired and on track, and most importantly, they act as role models. Um, the drum major, in addition to these things, um, and the other responsibilities for the assistant drum major and drum major, um, he acts as an assistant instructor of sorts, you know, kind of leading the band in warm-ups. They contribute some constructive criticism occasionally when needed. It's like, it's sort of like a, a lesser band director, I guess. Uh, and, of course, they conduct, waving their arms wildly in the hope of instilling something resembling a tempo in the band. Um, so that's a really fun job to do. Uh, going into the 2018 fall season, um, as a junior, um, I had auditioned, or interviewed, to be the assistant drum major, um, which is a role that's usually occupied by some juniors and seniors, and so I was very surprised when B. Lake ended up telling all of us that uh, I would actually be the drum major for that season. Um, so that was quite shocking because the drum major is usually a role occupied by a senior, and I had been, I, I think I was like the first junior in many years to be selected for that role. So I was obviously excited and intimidated um, by the, ex the expectations that were being put on my shoulders. Um, but I was ready because, you know, I was auditioning for a leadership role. I just got a little bit more than I bargained for. Um, boy, did I. Turns out that I was getting a lot more than I bargained for because uh, that year, the fall season of 2017, was Mr. Bielik's last season um, for marching band with NM. After uh, my sophomore year, he would be uh, leaving NM as a teacher and he would be getting a, a newer, higher paying job uh, at and a, a different school. And so what this means is that I was selected as the main leadership role for marching band and we would be having a new band director this year. And that's a lot because the way the band works is that there's a lot of traditions and just the way rehearsals run and stuff like that that's very hard to know intimately as a newcomer and so as a band director you're you're, you're just completely out of your depth you, like you have the way that you know how to do things and the band is used to a different way and so it was sort of put on my shoulders to make sure that the band understood that our new band director mr harris uh, does in fact know what he's doing, even if he does things a little differently. And luckily this, that wasn't super hard, I didn't have to fake anything because of course he does know what he's doing. Um, so that was a really big part of my leadership experience with Drum Major, was being the middleman between the band and the new director. And that sort of position 
led me to growth and development in leadership and communication, the likes of which could not be found anywhere else. Like, there, there's no other sort of situation you could be put in that would force you to learn those kinds of skills where you're really trying to show the band that everything is going to be okay with this new guy and that we can trust him by, of course, being a role model and, and trusting in myself, which I did. Um, so for that opportunity um, to be handled right, it would obviously have to be handed to someone who would handle it well. And so that, that to me, is what Ms. Mr. Bielek was saying when he chose me to be drum major, because he knew, he knew that he would be leaving when he picked me, and I'm sure he understood uh, what sort of situation he was putting me in. So. I, I just want to thank you for putting that trust in me and and giving me the opportunity to grow and become the person that I am today. So thank you, Mr. Bielek, and you deserve the honor that you're getting today. My name is Jacob Myers, and I will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst to study electrical engineering. First, I'd like to thank my family, my parents, my brother, and my sister for being so supportive throughout these four long years of high school. The person I'm honoring today has been a true role model throughout my high school career, and even though I didn't have him in that many classes, he's always been very supportive in my endeavors and never shied away from giving me a helping hand when I needed it. So thank you, Mr. Delasanta. Hello, my name is Abby Nick, and in the fall I will be attending Trinity College in Hartford, Connecticut, where I will be double majoring in human rights and political science on a pre-law track. First, I would just like to thank my friends and family for always supporting me, and my brother Alex for always pushing me to work hard. But most importantly, I'd like to thank a teacher who's always been there for me throughout high school, Mr. Thompson. Um, whether it was student councils, staying late to paint sets for shows, listening to my endless rants, <laughs> or editing my college essays, you've always been there to encourage me. Especially when I was having a rough time or didn't believe in myself, you always did. And you gave me four years worth of pep talks. <laughs> you helped me build more confidence than I thought possible. Thank you for all your guidance and knowledge and endless homework help. <laughs> and thank you for being the literal best teacher I could have asked for. So thank you, Mr. Thompson. Hello, my name is Catherine Quanta and I plan to attend UMass Lowell to study chemical engineering. First, I'd like to thank my parents for supporting me. I would also like to thank my twin sister, Martina, and my older brother, Charles Nabata. The person I'd like to honor today has been a mentor to me for the past four years. Not only is he an incredible teacher, but his wit, objectiveness, and his honesty are qualities that I admire. So thank you, Mr. Jeff McAvoy. Hi, I'm Mia Phillips and I'm attending UMass Law for Psychology. I'd like to thank my parents for always being there for me and my teachers for providing the best resources. Today I'm honoring my brother and previous NM staff member Francis Phillips. Um, for giving me a glimpse into all the twists and turns that high school can bring and being a mentor throughout my life. Hi, my name is Bianca Primo and I'm planning on attending UMass Amherst to study kinesiology. The first thing that I wanted to do was thank my parents and my older sister. They were there through some really big life changes that had happened in the past four years and they were always there for support and to let me know that they were proud of me, which is really important to me. But the person that I'm honoring today is someone that I actually met before high school and that I will never forget and I haven't forgotten it is Mrs. Karen Capizzi from Hawthorne Brook Middle School. She was with me the last two years in middle school and she was the one who really prepared me for the fact that I have to be a mature young woman to get through high school and I have to expect some ups and some downs which are completely normal but what's important is that I come out stronger than I was before and that I just have to strive for my dreams because I know that I'm capable of doing so. So thank you Mrs. Capizzi because that's what I will be doing for the next few years at UMass Amherst. Hello, 
Uh, my name is Matthew Rizmini. I would just like to first start off by saying I hope this video finds everyone safe and healthy. Um, I'm going to WPI in the fall, and I plan on majoring in biochemistry. Um, there are a lot of people I really need to thank. Um, first and foremost are my parents. Uh, they've always been there for me, always been so supportive and encouraging me to do the absolute best that I can. And of course, uh, my siblings for, for putting up with me and all my talk of school. Um, but most importantly, the the person that this video is meant to honor, um, and that's Miss Messina. Um, you have always been encouraging me to pursue a passion of science ever since my first class with you freshman year. Um, and having taken AP Bio with you, it, it actually it, it is the reason why I am majoring in biochemistry. It inspired my love um, for biology, which uh, I hope to pursue in the future. Um, so all around, thank you for, for being a great teacher uh, and inspiring me to, uh, to really pursue a field in science and do the best that I possibly can. Hello, my name is Emily Rotella, and I plan to attend UMass Amherst to study molecular biology and biochemistry. I'd like to thank my parents, my family, my friends, my teachers these past four years for all supporting me. And the person I would like to thank today has been a massive support in my life. Um, in between schoolwork, extracurriculars, and life in general, it's often easy to forget one's own mental health. and. In recent years, even though mental health is something that's been more addressed and brought into a public light, um, it's not perfect yet. Uh, life isn't always a cakewalk, and so to have someone support you during the low periods in your life is an absolute game changer. And I feel like this person has gone above and beyond in terms of moral support and overall understanding. The compassion, empathy, willingness to listen and just overall willingness to be there for me that has been demonstrated to me by this particular person is something that I will eternally be grateful for. And so for this reason, in the best way that I can convey it, I would like to thank Miss Elizabeth Lowe for these past few years. Thank you. Hi, my name is Allison Rausch, and next year I will be attending Florida State University's Honors Program to double major in International Affairs and Environmental Science with a minor in Russian. First off, I would like to thank my parents for supporting me no matter what I want to do and for helping me to grow into the person that I am today. I would not be where I am without them. The person that I would like to honor in this video has taught me far beyond what is encompassed by the subject that they teach. They have always pushed me to be my best, and have shown me that it is also okay to fall flat on my face or even to throw myself down a hill. No matter what class I've taken with this teacher, they have always had very high expectations of me. And the best lesson that I could have learned from this was si se puede, or yes you can. So thank you, Senora Le Judas, for always believing in me. Hi, my name is Rachel Sabal and next year I am attending Hassan University to study elementary education. First, I'd just like to thank my parents, my family, my coaches, and the staff at North Middlesex for supporting me over the past few years. Today, the person that I'd like to honor is Carolyn Casey. Carolyn has been a mentor in my life for over the past five years at Project 351. She's inspired me to support my community through service She's taught me many valuable leadership lessons, and I'm forever grateful for her leadership. So thank you, Carolyn Casey. Hi, my name is Maddie Sampson, and I will be attending Suffolk University to study chemistry and environmental science. I would like to thank my friends, parents, and sisters for supporting me throughout high school. The person I would like to honor is Mr. Lejudis. Mr. Lejudis has helped me grow as a student, patiently answered all of my questions, and pushed me to do my best. He is truly an excellent teacher and a great mentor. Thank you, Mr. Lejudis.